Do you want to turn your Twitch clips into vertical style format so you can post to TikTok, Instagram Reels, or YouTube Shorts? In this video, I'll show you how to do it because it's super easy now after a recent Twitch update. So if that sounds good to you, drop a quick like on this video so other streamers can find this video. And look at this little birthday gift I got. It's a little positive potato. So go do your thing. So the first thing that we need to do is head over to Twitch, obviously. And if you just scroll down, you can see these beautiful panels right here, which you can grab for yourself in my streamer starter pack in the description down below. But enough of that nonsense. Let's go up to the top right corner and click on your little icon and then we're going to go to the video producer tab. Once we're over here, you should see all of your past broadcasts. And if you haven't, that means you haven't watched my video on how to save your stream. So go watch that video. It's in the top right corner. But assuming you have some past broadcasts here, that means you probably also have some clips as well. So we're going to go to the clips tab right below it under the content tab. So click on clips and you should see a couple of clips, assuming that you've either done some clips of yourself or your viewers have clipped you for you. And if you have no idea how to make clips, all you got to do is go to the stream manager and once you are streaming, you can actually make a button over here that says clip that. So in the top right corner, if it's not already there, just hit this little plus button down here. And then there's a little clip that button right there. So you can easily clip moments while you're streaming yourself if you want. But anyways, let's go over to the content tab and go to clips. And we got a bunch of clips right here. So let's just say that we want to turn this clip right here into a vertical style format. But luckily for us, after a recent Twitch update, they now make it into both a portrait style, aka vertical and horizontal. So you can have best of both worlds and you don't have to do any of that nonsense with calf cut or download additional software, which is really nice and less of a pain in the butt if you ask me. So once you find your clip that you wanna post to Instagram Reels, TikTok, YouTube Shorts, whatever, we're gonna simply click on the share portrait clip button. So click on that. And then now we'll be able to oh instantly, God. oh God, <laughs> <laughs> that's really loud. So now we'll be instantly able able to share to YouTube Shorts if we want to, or TikTok if you connect both of your platforms here, or you can even just download it right here. But obviously this looks like crap, so let's go and fix that. What we need to do is click on this edit layout button right here. So we're gonna click on that. And then now we're gonna be able to see the full clip right here, but we don't want this nasty like horizontal version. Forget that, all the cool kids are using the, the vertical version. So we're gonna click on edit layout once again under the vertical one. So click on edit layout. Now, instead of hitting full, we're gonna hit stacked. And so basically it pretty much did most of it for us already, but you're gonna be able to drag this little pink box here in order to find what's gonna be on the top part. So I'm gonna pick this little beautiful handsome devil right there. And then we're gonna move this blue box around to capture the gameplay. So right about here is pretty good. And as you can see, I mean, it's already pretty much done. So what we need to do now is actually clip it in terms of like the length which I believe I jumped the gun and we need to do that on the previous one. So actually let's go back. So let's hit cancel. And so now we're actually gonna go back here and you can actually go and clip it to where you want. Obviously this is muted, so I'm gonna unmute it just to kind of get the audio level. Let's so let's go maybe here or right before that snipe. Okay, a little bit more. So right about there looks good. And then we're gonna go here and let's make it, I can grab this little white bar thing. We did it, we did it Chet. Okay, that's good. So we'll have that. Now this is going to be the length of our clip because we just trimmed it. So we Let's got go. that, beautiful. Oh, by the way, I should also point this out if we want to, shut up, Cody. I'm gonna mute myself. So we're gonna title this clip, whatever we want. GG's W is what the clipper, so the viewer that clipped this clip. I know it's a lot of clipping, right? Name this clip, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. You can also feature the clip, which honestly I would recommend if you think it is a good clip, because basically what this will do is it will feature it on your Twitch page after we've made it and it's going to push it to new viewers on Twitch so you get some more eyes on you. I can show you what mine featured clips look like after this. So I'm going to unfeature this because I already have some, but I'll show you in just a second. Once you've trimmed the actual clip here, now we're going to click on the edit layout under the portrait version on the right here. So click on edit layout. So now we can click on stacked and basically do exactly what we just did to make it beautiful. So now we have the length correct. We have the two up and down correct. And if you guys remember, they used to have like this little Twitch tag where you can put your Twitch name in between the two boxes here, but it looks like they got rid of it. And to be quite honest with you guys, I think that was a good call because people that end up watching those clips on Instagram Reels, TikToks, YouTube Shorts end up like getting annoyed with it anyways. And if they're gonna like your content, they're gonna click and watch your other clips anyways. So I feel like 
that was just deterring away from the entertainment value of the clip and make it look more spammy. So I'm just gonna give that one a rare W. So now that we have everything done to how we want it to, we're gonna hit the apply button. And then, oh, I guess we could have cropped it after. Well, anyways, save clip now. And then the existing version of this clip will be overwritten. So I guess I edited this clip earlier, so that's fine. So we're gonna hit yes. And then now, we have our actual clip, it'll fill load, come on. I'm running off of McDonald's Wi-Fi here, so you guys gotta cut me some slack. Anyways, you can change the title, you can change the privacy. This is all for the YouTube stuff, by the way. You can also directly share it to TikTok here if you connect to your account, which I haven't yet, because I'm lazy, but I'll get around to it. So then, here you go, we got our clip, easy peasy. And then now, if you want, which I would probably just recommend, is you can just download the clip, so click on download clip. It should pop up, download is started, and it will appear in your downloads folder with that little media file that then you can upload to Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, or even TikTok. But real quick before we go, we're gonna hit done. And I just wanna show you guys what that featured clip stuff was. So if we go to your Twitch channel in the top right corner, so we're gonna see it right here, right on the home page. Here's my little Twitch thing, featured clips. As you can see, this one's got 479 and 141. I think before I featured these, they were maybe less than like 50 views. So you can see that people are actually watching these clips. So that's why you wanna put your best clips over here because Twitch will sometimes push them to new viewers to be able to bring them over to your stream. So just a little cool anecdote for you guys to get you guys a little more viewers in the future but as always watch this playlist to the side of me it's going to teach you everything that you need to know about streaming my name's cody and i will see you in the next one